and obviously we looked into the, the Gracie family and watched the early UFCs and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, we looked at Hickson, I remember, and realized that Hickson was very seldom at his academy. Mm -hmm. um, so the best bet seemed to be um, going through to the Gracie Academy uh, in LA. Mm -hmm. And at the time it was, Horian was teaching a lot. Um, and Hiron and Hannah were teenagers. They were, I can't remember what belt they were when we were out there. Mm -hmm. I remember their younger brother was a blue belt, uh, but they certainly weren't black belts yet. Mm. Um, and we said, let's do it. So first time we went there was 2000. Um, and we had an amazing time there. It was, it was a bit of a shock yeah. coming from Japanese Jiu-Jitsu. You realize there's nothing wrong with the classical arts, nothing at all. Mm. But Japanese Jiu-Jitsu was very much... You're chasing all these different um, praise, and you're not really going to get any one of them. It was there was there was the formal stuff. There was the uh, kata. There's the all the throws from judo. Mm -hmm. There's the the stuff with the weapons, the bow, bokken, tanto, tanjo, um, and grappling made up. I don't know, probably about twenty percent of it. Really, is it that little? Mm. Because I, I was going to ask you what the differences are because um, uh, Masahiko Kim, um, uh, Maeda, mm. uh, uh, sorry, Masahiko Kimura, um, it was uh, Mitsuki Maeda. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Um, he came from Japanese Jiu Jitsu. Yes. And then went and, and started with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yes. Um, and I would have thought that the two are very similar, but you're saying they're not, not mm. too similar. No. And it was, I think, because you're trying to cover so much. There was forms in there, and there's all the, and there's a big classical element to it as well. Mm. And I think because you were trying to cover so much, you found yourself not being an expert in anything. Um, and it was a beautiful art. I mean, the um, basically the original Japanese jiu-jitsu was the samurai art. Right. Okay. So um, there was a number of things that were kind of, well, if you're a samurai, you're going to be bigger and stronger than everyone else. You're going to be wearing armor. Mm. Um, all this. So it kind of relied on you using your strength and those kind of attributes right. um, and having weapons and all these kind of things. So, I mean, it's a beautiful art, but it didn't prepare us properly for grappling like BJJ. Mm. Um, so, uh, yeah, what we found is as soon as you start BJJ, it was a different mindset. Um, and it was, there was, a, wasn't as much etiquette as well. You know, I remember first time we came there, we, we went to LA and uh, bowed onto the mat. And uh, Horian was on the mat. <clears throat> and he said, what are you bowing for? I'm not Japanese. Mm. Hey, and he slapped your hand like this. I'm like, this is cool. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and then rolling. You know, there was, I remember a guy called Keith, the blue belt. And he uh, said, oh, just, I don't know, I rolled. And this guy, Keith, tapped my hand and then kind of just slide down like this. <laughs> and I'm thinking, what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. What are you, I mean... You know, and uh, it was, and then I realized I went in there aggressive and then he just gradually worked his way up into a good position, then took an armbar or whatever. Mm. I'm like, ah, okay, that's, uh, that's the mindset. The mindset's very different. In fact, there was a young lad, I can't remember his name. God, oh, it would have to come to me. Mm. Um, and I'm sure Horian would do this all the time. And he'd go, oh, just roll with that little kid over there. Um, and this little kid, just took us to pieces mm. um, so it was kind of a nice demonstration in a way that okay so the way that we've been taught isn't is only a very small part of it and the way I try and um, communicate it sometimes is Japanese jiu-jitsu you've got a tree when it comes to grappling mm -hmm. you've got a tree with you know a few main branches mm. but with Brazilian jiu-jitsu or Gracie jiu-jitsu there's branches off of those branches and there's branches off of those right and that's the way it seemed to be from my perspective so mm. we knew the basics we knew the garb we knew the scissor sweeps we knew the arm bars um but it, there wasn't that much detail in it like there is in Gracie jiu-jitsu mm. um so yeah we started there 2000 then we would go back regularly to to LA to train to train with the guys hey guys if you enjoyed that clip i've got another one for you over here and over here please don't forget to subscribe over here and have a look at my other socials down in the description box below thanks for watching